Singapore's energy story. Yep. Do you know anything about it? Nope. Hey guys! What is the long faces? This science project is so tough. Talking about Singapore's energy story is pretty simple, really. Really? Really. <clears throat> We're a small country, which means we have some restrictions when it comes to producing energy. We don't have a lot of land, we have no natural resources, so we have to import all our fuel, and we cannot implement some renewable energies because of geographical constraints. The good news is that Singapore is not letting these problems stop us. Take the SLNG terminal, for example. Did you know that 95% of our electricity is generated using natural gas? The establishment of the SLNG terminal allows us to import liquefied natural gas from all over the world. Previously, we could only depend on piped natural gas from Malaysia and Indonesia. The natural gas we import is mainly used by power generation companies to generate electricity. Let's find out more. Hello, this is the combined cycle gas turbine, which uses both gas and steam turbines to produce more electricity from the same fuel as compared to steam turbines. It converts chemical energy from the natural gas to kinetic energy of the turbine. This kinetic energy is then converted to electrical energy via a generator. This technology is so cool! Cool, right? Wait till you learn about solar energy. Oh yeah, Singapore is a tropical country. Can't we harness solar energy? Let's ask an expert. Well, to answer your question, Singapore is actually open to exploring all types of fuel sources and technologies such as solar and right now, the most viable source of renewable energy is solar energy. Come, let me show you. However, solar energy is dependent on whether we have clear blue skies. If there's cloud cover, the supply will be intermittent. On average, we only get 5 hours of sunlight. So if Singapore relies solely on solar power, I can't switch on the lights to study at night? Actually, even if we cover all of Singapore with solar panels, we are still unable to meet all of Singapore's energy needs. That's why we need something more reliable like natural gas to generate electricity. But we can use batteries to store the electricity generated from solar panels, right? Yes, but Singapore's hot and humid climate affects battery performance, which is why further research is required. We are also improving solar forecasting as the information will help us make better use of solar energy. So, Singapore needs electricity 24 hours a day, every day. Yes, and luckily for us, Singapore has one of the most reliable energy grids in the world. Compared to other major cities, Singapore experiences less than one minute of disruption per customer per year. We've seen how electricity is generated, but how is it sent to our homes and schools? Come to think of it, I've never seen any overhead electricity cables in Singapore. That's because they're right under us. Singapore has limited land, so we shifted our cables underground. Yes, did you guys know that much of Singapore's transmission and distribution network are all underground? It's made possible by clever engineering and advancements in technology. Apart from cables, Singapore also has other underground infrastructure such as the Singapore District Cooling System under Marina Bay. It provides chilled water for air conditioning to buildings such as Marina Bay Sands. This also frees up space above ground for other exciting users such as the Infinity Pool. Cool! Yeah, the Singapore energy story gets cooler the more I learn about it. Do you know what else is cool? We use the condition monitoring system to predict and avert downtime and disruption, hence allowing better allocation of resources. We also use smart meters to tell consumers how much electricity they are using so they can adjust their energy use and save money. So the secret to our power system's reliability and efficiency is good old-fashioned hard work and cutting-edge technology. The stuff you guys do is so cool. I want to be an engineer in the power industry when I'm older. Yeah, me too. See you around, future colleague. So to sum up, Singapore has transformed its vulnerabilities into opportunities. And all our energy decisions are based on the energy trilemma, where we always try to balance between energy security 
price competitiveness and environmental sustainability. Thank you.